As a comic book reader, it can be very difficult to know what stories fit into what universe and timeline. It's tough to know what is canon and what is not. Well, I've actually found an official DC source that lists the timeline in full of every key event in the canonical Batman timeline. So in today's video, we will be covering the official Batman timeline. Let's get into it. So I'm not going to be putting dates on these events or anything, I'll just be listing every key event in order. Bruce Wayne is born to Martha Wayne and Dr. Thomas Wayne. He is their only child and is heir to a family fortune going back generations to the founding of Gotham City. Bruce grows up in Wayne Manor, attended to by Alfred Pennyworth, the family butler. His best childhood friend is Thomas or Tommy Elliot. At an early age, Bruce falls into a concealed pit in the grounds of Wayne Manor and lands in a huge underground cave filled with bats. After taking Bruce to a movie, Thomas and Martha Wayne are shot and killed by a mugger while walking through Park Row. The gunman, a thug named Joe Chill, escapes and the case is never officially resolved. Leslie Tompkins is one of the first people to arrive at the murder scene and comforts a traumatised Bruce. Bruce then grows up in the care of Alfred Pennyworth. The young Wayne leaves Gotham City to travel the world, studying criminology and forensics while training under the greatest martial arts masters from around the world. Years later, Bruce Wayne returns to Gotham City. He vows to battle wrongdoers and prevent crimes like the one that took his parents' lives. In an early outing, he nearly dies and retreats home. There, he sees a bat in his father's study and takes it as an omen. Now determined to strike fear into the hearts of criminals as the Batman, Bruce develops his costume and weapons and eventually renovates the cave underneath Wayne Manor into his secret headquarters, the Batcave. In his first adventures, Batman battles corrupt cops, crooked politicians and the mobsters that control Gotham City's underworld. James Gordon, a new face on the Gotham City police force, finds himself allying with Batman against the corruption that has taken riot within the GCPD, under the leadership of Commissioner Loeb. Selina Kyle is inspired by Batman's example and begins her career as Catwoman. The Gotham City Police Department places a bat signal on the roof to alert Batman to emergencies. Batman develops a sleek armoured car he calls the Batmobile, later employing a variety of different models. Batman then battles a mysterious figure called the Red Hood, who falls into a vat of chemicals during their skirmish. He encounters Superman for the first time and the two eventually develop an uneasy friendship. Batman matches wits with a variety of strange new criminals, including Professor Hugo Strange, the Mad Monk, Clayface, Dr. Death, the Riddler, Poison Ivy, the Penguin, Scarecrow, Solomon Grundy, and most notoriously, the Joker. To combat these new threats, Batman continues to develop vehicles including the Bat Cycle, Bat Gyro, and the Bat Boat. Jarvis Tetch, Calendar Man, and Mr. Freeze are among the new villains that continue to plague Gotham City. He teams up with James Gordon and District Attorney Harvey Dent to take down the notorious Falcone crime family. In the process, they find themselves on the trial of a serial killer known as Holiday. Harvey Dent is splashed with acid by a criminal. This left the side of his face suffering severe scarring, and Harvey becomes the double-sided villain known as Two-Face. Batman investigates the identity of the hangman killer and once again crosses paths with the Falcone crime family. The murderous Reaper returns to stalk the streets of Gotham City. After his trapeze artist parents are slain by gangster boss Zuko, Dick Grayson joins the Dark Knight's crime-fighting crusade by taking on the role of Robin the Boy Wonder. Batman welcomes new members into his war on crime, and soon attracts an entire Batman family. Ace the Bathound is his canine partner, while former circus acrobat Kathy Kane becomes the first original Batwoman. Later, Betty Kane becomes the first Batgirl. Among the newest crop of Gotham City villains to sprout up are Killer Moth, Catman, and Kite Man. Batman teams not just with Superman, but also with Wonder Woman, The Flash, Green Lantern, Aquaman and Martian Manhunter to form the Justice League of America. Matt Hagen becomes the monstrously malleable Clayface. And other new villains include Blockbuster, Clue Master and The Wrath. Robin helps found the Teen Titans alongside other superhero sidekicks. Barbara Gordon puts on the cape and cowl to become Gotham City's latest hero, Batgirl. She soon fights not only Killer Moth, but also the pyromaniac Firefly. Dick Grayson leaves the Batcave to fly solo as Robin and attends Hudson University. As a result, Bruce Wayne and Alfred Pennyworth relocate their main base of operations to the rooftop penthouse of the Wayne Foundation building in the heart of Gotham City. A new Batcave is established beneath the Wayne Foundation skyscraper. Man Bat, Talia Al Ghul, Raz Al Ghul, Rupert Thorne, Black Spider, Dr. Phosphorus, Lady Shiva, and a third Clayface prove to be the new thorns in Batman's side. Meanwhile, an obscure villain called Deadshot reinvents himself into a deadly assassin. 
platinum-haired Silver St. Cloud becomes Bruce Wayne's latest romantic interest, though their relationship is quite short-lived. Lucius Fox becomes Bruce Wayne's business manager and accepts responsibility for running the day-to-day -day business operations of Wayne Industries. Gangster Maxi Zoo surfaces in Gotham City, as does Killer Croc. Later, Black Mask also takes a swing at becoming a crime boss. Batman quits the Justice League of America and assembles his own team of superheroes, the Outsiders, whose members include Katana, Metamorpho, Geoforce, Halo, and Black Lightning. Jason Todd officially debuts as the second Robin, while Dick Grayson changes his name to Nightwing. Multiple realities are merged into one during the epic event known as Crisis on Infinite Earths. In the aftermath, some elements of Batman's history are rewritten as a new unified timeline takes effect. The ventriloquist and his puppet Scarface, the Russian assassin called KG Beast, and other new threats emerge including the Ratcatcher and cult leader Deacon Blackfire. The Joker shoots and paralyzes Barbara Gordon and kidnaps Commissioner Gordon so he can subject him to psychological torture. Jason Todd goes in search of his real mother, but is killed by the Joker. Tim Drake officially joins Batman's crusade as the third Robin. No longer able to use her legs after the Joker's attack, Barbara Gordon takes on a new role as the all-seeing information broker called Oracle. The political activist Vigilante Anarchy, martial arts king Snake, and the deranged serial killer Mr. Zaz enter the Dark Knight's rogue gallery. Stephanie Brown, aka the Spoiler, becomes the vigilante to thwart her father, the Clue Master. The villain called Bane breaks Batman's back, leaving him paralyzed. Bruce Wayne is then forced to relinquish the mantle of Batman to newcomer Jean-Paul Valley, also known as Azrael. Jean-Paul Valley adopts the formidable suit of bat armor in order to defeat Bane. Now recovered from the injury he sustained at the hands of Bane, Bruce Wayne reclaims the title of Batman back from Jean-Paul. Before returning to full time, Bruce has Nightwing fill in as Batman while he establishes mini bat caves all over Gotham City. Oracle organizes a strike team called the Birds of Prey. Her partner is Dinah Lance, the Black Canary. A plague hits Gotham City, soon followed by a powerful earthquake. Its citizens evacuate and the city becomes a no-man's land, ruled by criminal fiefdoms and protected by Batman and his agents. Martial arts prodigy Cassandra Kane inherits the mantle of Batgirl from Barbara Gordon. Harley Quinn becomes the Joker's sidekick. The Joker murders James Gordon's second wife, Sarah Essen Gordon. Gotham City is reopened to the rest of the world soon after. Bruce Wayne's former paramour, Vesper Fairchild, is found murdered. Bruce and his bodyguard, Sasha Bordeaux, are held as suspects, but are eventually cleared of all charges. Bruce Wayne's boyhood friend Tommy Elliot appears as the bandaged villain Hush, launching an elaborate plot against Batman that involves nearly every member of the Dark Knight's rogue gallery. Heeding Batman's call, Stephanie Brown becomes the fourth Robin. After being fired from the position, she is captured by Black Mask and nearly killed. Tim Drake's father is killed by the Flash villain Captain Boomerang, leaving Tim an orphan. Batman develops the Brother Eye surveillance satellite but realizes that his construction has become self-aware. Brother Eye turns thousands of innocent victims into malevolent OMAC agents. Jason Todd, who is now restored to life after his murder at the hands of the Joker, assumes the vigilante identity of the Red Hood. After surviving the event dubbed Infinite Crisis, Batman decides to take off to retrace the path that led to his transformation into the Dark Knight. It is a quest that spans the better part of a year, but helps him shed some of his darkness at the hands of the mysterious Ten-Eyed Men. With Batman away from Gotham City, Harvey Dent tries and fails to become the city's protector. Kate Kane becomes the new Batwoman, and former Gotham City police detective Renee Montoya becomes the new question. Bruce Wayne returns to Gotham City and officially adopts Tim Drake as his legal son. A new ventriloquist and Scarface arrive on the scene for a time, as do villains Humpty Dumpty and Roxy Rocket. Bruce Wayne learns he has an actual biological son, Damian Wayne, as a result of a long ago liaison with Talia al Ghul. Stephanie Brown resurfaces as spoiler, revealing to Tim Drake that she survived her encounter with Black Mask and has been recuperating in Africa. At the end of the universe-shaking Final Crisis event, the new god Darkseid apparently annihilates Batman with his Omega-sanctioned beams. Ex-cop Michael Washington Lane becomes the new Azrael, picking up where John Paul Valley left off. A new dynamic duo emerges, with Dick Grayson as Batman and Damian Wayne as Robin. At first their partnership seems rocky but they put aside their differences long enough to defeat the schemes of the psychotic Professor Pig. Tim Drake takes up the identity of Red Robin, while Stephanie Brown becomes the newest Batgirl. The Green Lantern Corpse faces its biggest challenge during the Blackest Night Crisis. Black Lantern rings bring the corpses of dead heroes to life, including what is believed to be the body of Batman, but this Black Lantern Batman proves to be a clone. Sent into the past by Darkseid's power during the Final Crisis event, Batman embarks on a journey through time and eventually returns to present day. 
Speaking to the news media, Bruce Wayne reveals that he had secretly funded Batman's activities for years and announces the formation of a new global superhero team, Batman Incorporated. Reality is altered during the Flashpoint event and Dr. Thomas Wayne fights crime as Batman. The Flash restores the timeline, Batman now has a zero-year origin and the Justice League consists of Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Cyborg, The Flash and Green Lantern. The Batman and Robin pairing becomes a father-son team when Dick Grayson returns to the role of Nightwing. Barbara Gordon, now recovered from her paralysis, once again takes up the mantle of Batgirl. Batman faces the threat of Gotham City's oldest secret society, the Court of Owls, and dozens of assassins called Talons. The Red Hood takes command of a new team of international operatives called the Outlaws. Meanwhile, Red Robin focuses on leading the new Teen Titans. Damian Wayne is then killed by the villainous heretic under the command of Talia al Ghul. Batman later resurrects his son thanks to a trip to the planet Apocalypse and an artifact called the Chaos Shard. Batman and the Joker both die after a violent fight in the Batcave, only to return thanks to a mysterious metal called Dionysium. When he returns, Bruce Wayne has lost all of his memory of his past life as Batman. James Gordon steps away from his job as commissioner to become GCPD-sanctioned Batman in an armoured batsuit called the Rookie. Meanwhile, his daughter Barbara sets up a new life for herself in the borough of Burnside. Dick Grayson becomes an agent for the secret operatives called Spiral after he is presumed dead by the world. He serves with Helena Bertinelli. Duke Thomas becomes an unofficial Robin in a group of underground crime fighters named We Are Robin. Bruce Wayne uses a high-tech device to restore his memories as Batman and returns just in time to help defeat a new villain, Mr. Bloom. Parts of the past continuity are restored in a rebirth across the DC Universe due to a manipulation of cosmic forces, after which Dick Grayson becomes Nightwing again and Helena Bertinelli becomes the Huntress. Batman meets Gotham and Gotham Girl, and then angers longtime villain Bane during a mission. The Batman Who Laughs emerges while Batman and the Justice League learn of the Dark Multiverse and the bat-like demon Barbatos' invasion of Earth. Afterward, Duke Thomas adopts the identity of the Signal. Batman and Catwoman decide to get married, but Selina ends up leaving the Dark Knight at the altar. Bane takes over Gotham City with the help of the Batman from the Flashpoint reality, Thomas Wayne. A misguided Gotham girl becomes Thomas Wayne's Robin. Bane kills Alfred in front of Damian Wayne's eyes. Batman eventually stops both Bane and his alternative universe father, Thomas. The Joker is the next villain to claim Gotham City as his own, doing so with a gang of clowns and by stealing the Wayne fortune in his so-called Joker War. New faces, Punchline, Ghostmaker and Clown Hunter appear in Gotham City, causing plenty of challenges for the Dark Knight. The Justice League faces off against the mother of the multiverse, Perpetua, and her chosen right-hand man, the Batman who laughs. While they defeat the villains, the cosmos is once again altered, causing the heroes to remember all of their past adventures from a variety of timelines. Some heroes and villains are brought back to life during this infinite frontier. Barbara Gordon returns to the job as Oracle, as Stephanie Brown and Cassandra Cain become her Batgirls. With his fortune handed over to the Fox family, Bruce Wayne lives on a smaller scale, operating out of a brownstone in the neighbourhood of Fort Grey with a garage-like Batcave beneath. He adopts a back-to-basics approach to cleaning up Gotham City. And that brings us, well, almost to the modern-day timeline of the Batman comics. There is some more stuff that's gone on, but to cover more recent events, I'd like to go into it in more detail. If you enjoyed this sort of video, then be sure to let me know if you want to see others. I'd be more than happy to share official timeline videos for characters such as the Joker or Nightwing. Just let me know who you want to see, and I'll get to work. Thank you all so much for watching today, my friends. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to return to the Batcave for more Bat content. I'll see you next time.